and welcome to another PHP Basics tutorial. This tutorial will be on the PHP language construct Echo. Um, now what Echo does is it prints information that you give it um, to the user onto the screen. Uh, if you don't understand what I'm saying, uh, you'll, you'll understand in just a minute. It's a very basic um, construct used very frequently. Um, basically all it does is puts the output um, out. But it is a very powerful um, language construct and there's many 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 uses for it and so let's get started. Um, basically since it's a language construct and not a function it doesn't require any brackets and so you use it or uh, you call it with the echo keyword and then after it you require quotes. These quotes can be um, double quotes or single quotes depending on what you are outputting and I'll get to that just a little bit later. But um, So let's in these quotes type hello world. Now what this is going to do is it's going to output hello world to the user. So let's just go back here and refresh the page. You see we get hello world. If we output what's up and we save that and we refresh you'll see we get what's up so that's the basics of the um, language construct that's basically what echo does but it's much more dynamic than just that um, for instance if we define a variable if you don't know what variables are, you can go check out my tutorial on them. But let's define this variable as hello world. Okay, so what we're going to do is we want to output this variable. Oh, that says variables. I'm just going to change that to variable. Um, and so we have this variable defined as hello world. We'd like to output that. So you can echo variable. Now, this does not require any quotes of any sort because you're just outputting the variable. Now, if we refresh this page, you see we get the hello world. Um, you can output multiple strings or um, outputs to the screen, and there are a few ways of outputting um, more than one thing depending on whether you want it to be output as multiple strings or whether you want it to be output as a single string. So the first way we're going to look at is embedding um, the variables that you'd be outputting oops, with um, well, within another set of strings. So if you can see what I've just done, I've just um, enclosed the variable in two curly brackets. Now what this does, and this works for any um, time you're putting a variable in a string, is it just um, escapes the string, sort of, and allows that the value of this variable is read as the value of this variable instead of as the text variable. Um, this only works if you're using double quotes. If you change it to single quotes and you watch the highlighting of it, you can see that it's now just looks like a string. That's because with single quotes, as I explained in my basic PHP syntax video, um, single quotes process everything as raw PHP data, or raw text data opposed to um, PHP data, if there is any within it. So let's echo hello world, because that is our variable, that's the value here, with an exclamation mark, and then we're going to also put in what's up. And we're going to save this and um, re refresh. You can see we get hello world, what's up? Um, if we change our variable, put some dots after it, and we refresh, you can see that it's put the dots in there and then the rest of the text. So that's the first way to um, dynamically change content using the variable. Um, the next way is through a process called concatenation. And uh, basically what that does is it tags on strings to each other. So the syntax of it is the variable name, 
and then a period or a dot or full stop or whatever you'd like to call it and then opening um, the quote block that you're using now um, if you refresh the page here you'll see that we get the same output um, but it's just a different method I believe that this method is processed slightly slower by the server so um, and it's also much more messy especially if you want to start using multiple variables um, it just becomes harder to do stopping and closing your um, quotes and then adding in your periods and that sort of thing it, it's cleaner to just um, embed it within curly brackets but um, this is a method that's also frequently used um, now they are not doing the exact same thing to the um, server basically when you concatenate what it's saying is that uh, the string starts off as variable then the dot adds on to so it then becomes um, this right and then it stops there and then again it would become that further whereas the other one merely embeds it to the thing so they're not actually interchangeable processes however they work the same in this context so th the next way to do it is to um, treat echo as if it is kind of like a function and provide it what I like to think of as parameters instead of just echoing strings so you can echo out a list of strings so we have our first one here comma our next one comma our next one comma our next one so if we refresh you see that we get the same um, output we can add on more and more to this um, close that oh, I forgot in a quote somewhere here it is there we go and if you refresh you can see that the comma separated list allows you to output um, multiple strings now I believe that this is processed the fastest by the server however I am not positive on that either so don't quote me on this but that's my belief and this uh, method where you're providing or a comma separated list of all the strings that you'd like to output is specific to the echo function it is not a universal thing throughout strings so don't think of it as concatenation with commas because that's not what it is you're merely providing echo the language construct with multiple strings to output if that makes sense so I'm going to delete this so far we've just been working with strings but um, echo also has the capability to um, output integers so let's just echo one two three as you can see when I'm echoing one two three I did not put any type of quotes around it um, it does not require quotes if you are echoing an integer and if you wish to treat it as an integer and not a string so meaning if you wish to use arithmetic operators on it then you cannot have it or then you should not have it as a string so let's just refresh this you can see that we get one two three like I was saying oops do not open Safari anyways um sorry oh yeah so if you uh, l let's treat this as arithmetic right now so we can go one echo one oops, plus two plus three and it will echo out um, the sum of these three numbers so if we refresh you can see that we get six because one plus two plus three is equal to six and uh, you can use any of the arithmetic operators have a tutorial on that check that out if you are confused but um, but yeah so um, you can do whatever you'd like here and it acts or it just um, echoes out the sum so it would be 192 now I am not positive but it is my belief that if it is in um, a string if it's enclosed in a string it will actually output this so yeah so you can see that it's 
If you treat it as a string, it does not do the arithmetic, and that's because, well, it's not supported um, by PHP as arithmetic if it is a string opposed to um, integer values. Now, the last thing that I'm going to talk about for Echo is that it can also output HTML. Um, oftentimes, you see people embedding PHP in HTML, so they'd have their body tags here and then a paragraph, and PHP would then come here and output dynamic content here, and then they continue on with their HTML page. Now, um, PHP can echo HTML, so you can do the reverse project or um, process. However, generally speaking, you're better off um, putting doing your output in HTML and embedding the PHP. Uh, it's hard when you start uh, mixing up your PHP well, logic and then output. So, generally speaking, this is bad practice, but it is not, or um, you can do it. So, let's output um, the strong tags, which make a uh, whatever they enclose bold, and we're going to say bold just to keep things simple. So we'll go back to this page, we'll refresh, and you can see that it bolds the text. Now, the same thing can be done if we had our variable back, so I'll just redefine variable is equal to hello world, and close that line. So we can put our variable in here, and if we go back to here, we can refresh, and we'll get hello world in bold. Um, you can that was using it with the embedded method in curly brackets. You can concatenate the two tags on either side of it, and you'll see we'll get the same output. And you can um, output it as the list of strings, and once again, if we refresh, we get the same output. Um, so that's basically it for the echo function, or language construct rather. You'll come across it a lot, so going into huge details on its uses is kind of um, redundant as, well, I mean, the use of it is very, it's fairly basic, and if you watch any tutorials, you'll start to see very quickly how it is used, but that's the basic syntax of it. Um, so yeah, just remember, if it is able to output strings, integers, variables, um, that sort of thing. If you're using a variable or multiple strings, there are a number of ways you can approach that. And although they achieve the same result, they are not the exact same process. So try not to confuse um, that. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Please comment if you have any questions or um, send me a message if you have suggestions for tutorials, that sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching.